Hello guys, Dhanjay here and welcome back to a new video. This is going to be a speed test comparison between Poco X3 which is on my left side and the brand new Mi 10i. Let's see which one performs better in this speed test comparison. We'll also do a small camera test at the end of this video. Let's start with the reboot test first and let's see which one boots up faster. Poco X3 is priced at just 17,000 rupees for the 64GB internal storage variant with 6GB of RAM whereas Mi 10i starts with 21,000 rupees price tag for the 64GB variant which will come soon and 22,000 rupees for the 6GB plus 128GB internal storage variant. Now one of the major advantages of the Mi 10i is going to be its 5G chipset which it has that's the Snapdragon 750G processor and Poco X3 comes with the regular mid-range chip that's the Snapdragon 732G processor. Now when it comes to uh, reboot test Mi 10i was slightly faster as compared to Poco X3 but Poco X3 was very close it's not like there was a huge difference between both of them. Now when it comes to apps which are running in the background there are none let's start with the twitter application and it's loaded up faster on the Mi 10i next up we have facebook that's loaded up faster once again on the Mi 10i let's go to instagram app and that will be loaded up faster once again on the Mi 10i both these devices are set to 120 hertz refresh rate uh, if just in case if you're wondering once again play store was loaded up faster on the Mi 10i as compared to poco x3 let's go to flipkart app and once again Mi 10i was faster as compared to Poco X3. Let's try DRM Info app. And it feels as if Snapdragon 750G processor is going to perform better as compared to Poco X3's Snapdragon 732G processor. This obviously in theory 750G processor is much more powerful as compared to 732G and uh, till now that has been proven when it comes to Wideband L1 certification it is present on both these devices so that's a good thing but let's see whether both of them support uh, 1080p resolution in Prime Video and Netflix application. So in Prime Video at least uh, both these devices support 2.35 GB per hour that is 1080p uh, streaming and downloading is supported on both these devices. When it comes to Netflix application let's see which one opens it faster. Once again, oh, I guess it's going to be uh, easy to do this speed test because Mi 10i is performing so much better. Now let's see whether both of them can run at 1080p resolution. And already 1080p resolution is present on the Poco X3 and 1080p resolution is present on the Mi 10i as well. So Prime Video and Netflix both can run at full HD resolution on both these devices. Now let's try Solid File Explorer app which was loaded up faster on the Mi 10i. Now we have this media 722 zip file which we are going to extract at the same time. So let me just select the same file over here and let's select this and select extract at the same time and let's see whether 750g processor can perform better as compared to 732g processor and if you look at this percentage then obviously 750g processor is performing better as compared to 732g as expected i mean a lot of times uh say theory may there is something different in practical life uh, something different happens like when i did a speed test comparison of meet and i against the oneplus nord 765g processor oneplus nord was performing better whereas in theory 750g processor on the meet and i it's supposed to be slightly faster as compared to 765g processor now when it comes to extracting the file meet and i was faster and i'm sure when it comes to zipping the file meet and i is once again going to perform better now let's try video rendering test and let's see whether uh, 732g processor can keep up or can win maybe let's see uh, let's select the same video so we have selected the same bitrate same resolution and same frame rate let's click on export and once again, even in this video, I mistakenly selected 24 FPS on the Poco X3. I did the same mistake in the Nord versus uh, Mi 10i video. But even if you select 30 FPS, yes, Mi 10i does not perform better than Poco X3. Even on the latest software update, we, we received one software update. And even after that, the result remains the same. So uh, something is wrong with the Mi 10i when it comes to rendering or using the CPU to its fullest. I think this uh, this is something which should be fixed. Do not worry, even if it's 24 or 30, it's going to be the same result. I've already tried it. I have al also uploaded an unlisted uh, video, which will be linked in the description box below, just in case if you want to verify that as well. That's uh, of Poco, not, not Poco, Nord versus uh, Meet and I. Let's click on skip and let's see which one uh, renders the video faster. When we did the same speed test comparison against the OnePlus Nord of the Meet and I, uh, I guess you should watch that video in order to figure out whether OnePlus Nord performs better or Meet and I performs better in the entire speed test comparison. But right now at least it feels as if 732G processor is performing better as compared to 750G processor. That's actually surprising. Let's see what happens. 
and surprisingly Poco X3 completed the rendering faster as compared to the 750G processor on the Mi 10i that's actually surprising and it shows that Xiaomi needs to work on the software experience of the Mi 10i and needs to optimize it even further because 750G processor is definitely capable to do much more and when it comes to rendering test at least uh, uh, Mi 10i is not performing as expected I, in other tests as well when we did another speed test comparison a similar thing had happened I am not really sure what has what is happening here I guess Xiaomi really really needs to work on a software update for the Mi 10i in order to fix the slight glitches that are there in the performance of the device I guess yeah let's go to the home screen next app that we have is the Chrome app and uh, let's open it up and we have loaded up the same website and Mi 10i was faster to show the website as compared to Poco X3 now it's time to open up some games starting with the PUBG mobile game now 750G processor is uh, supposed to perform faster because it has better GPU not just better CPU but better GPU as well as compared to 732G now let's see whether it can do that or not because uh, I'm, I'm hoping 750G performs better here and it feels like yeah it is going to open the game faster let's see what happens and there you go both of them opened the game almost at the same time which is actually surprising let's see what happens with other games like free fire uh last time meet and i was able to open the game faster as compared to one plus uh, not one plus uh, poco x3 let's see if that can happen again oh my god uh, what poco x3 opened the game faster as compared to meet and i uh, once once again let's try asphalt 9 game now and let's see if Poco X3 can beat the Mi 10i once again. I hope that doesn't happen. Now Mi 10i was able to open the game faster as compared to Poco X3 finally after such a long time but it feels as if this is some network issue that uh, Poco X3 is facing. Nonetheless, <laughs> finally Mi 10i was able to open uh, the game faster. Let's try Call of Duty game now and let's see whether Mi 10i can open it faster. Uh, Mi 10i was able to open Call of Duty game faster as compared to Poco X3. Finally, Mi 10i is ending on a good note that it was able to open the game faster and Poco X3 will open the game right now. Now it's time to do the multitasking test and let's see whether all the applications are running on both these devices. Let's start with the Call of Duty game, which is obviously running in memory on both these devices because that's the last application that we opened. Asphalt 9 game is in memory on both these devices. Free Fire game is also in memory. PUBG Mobile uh, is in memory on both these devices. That's a good sign. Chrome application is in memory. Kind Master is in memory on both these. Okay. Kind Master is being reloaded on this device. And uh, now we are at the same page. Let's go back. Let's go to Solid File Explorer. It is in memory on Mi 10i, whereas it's being reloaded on the Poco X3. Netflix app is in memory on Mi 10i, reloaded on the Poco X3 Prime Video is in memory on both these devices. Oh, okay, both of them reloaded actually as you saw uh, that refresh thing over here. DRM Info app is in memory on Mi 10i, whereas it's being reloaded on the Poco X3. Flipkart application is running in on Mi 10i, reloaded on the Poco X3 Play Store app. Okay, uh, I was going to say in memory on Mi 10i, but both of them had uh, the app in memory. Instagram app is in memory on Mi 10i, whereas uh, Okay, uh, Poco X3 is going to reload it. Facebook application is being reloaded on the Poco X3. Surprisingly, Mi 10i still has it in memory. Twitter application is being reloaded on both these devices. So overall, in this speed test comparison, we saw that when it comes to opening day-to-day -day life applications, Mi 10i was definitely faster, but doing CPU heavy tasks uh, like rendering a video or zipping or extracting a file, I was expecting Mi 10i to perform much, much better as compared to Poco X3, but that's not really the case. Not just that, but in rendering test, Poco X3 1, I mean that's quite surprising considering it comes with 732G processor. By the way, the Poco X3 that I have comes with 6GB of RAM and uh, the Mi 10i comes with 8GB of RAM and probably that is the reason why some of the applications were reloaded on the Poco X3. So when it comes to uh, speed test as such, uh, as of shooting this video at least, I'm going to say that Poco X3 is so close to Mi 10i that's uh, like it's too close in my opinion. With a software update, Xiaomi should fix the performance issues on the Mi 10i and rendering speed being so slow and uh, that's something should be fixed by Xiaomi as soon as possible. Poco X3 has a 64 megapixel camera and Mi 10i has a 108 megapixel camera. How big is the difference between both these uh, 64 megapixel shots? This is a short click to with the actual resolution of 64 megapixel and 108 
जीरो एट मेगा पिक्सल एंड हियर इज अ जूम पिक्चर ऑफ द सेम विच वन डू यू थिंक एज मोर डिटेल्स लाइक आई मीन यू कैन सी वन जीरो एट मेगा पिक्सल एज स्लाइटली मोर डिटेल्स आई गेस या देर यू गो एंड दीज आर सम ऑफ द अदर सैम्पल शॉर्ट्स दैट वी क्लिक विथ पोको एक्स थ्री एंड द मी टेन आई uh side by side on the left side we have the poco x3 and on the right side we have the mi 10i in the night mode once again both of them click pretty good pictures in my opinion when it comes to selfies uh i personally liked how the selfies came out from the mi 10i as compared to poco x3 i will be reviewing the mi 10i only after i receive a software update and after i use the device for a uh, quite a bit of time so subscribe to the channel if you do not want to miss that video uh, which i'll be making after receiving a software update on the mi 10i by the way like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe obviously i said that earlier if you still have any more doubt suggestions or queries regarding any of these devices do let me know about that in the comment section box below or you can tweet it to me at @dhananjan_tech so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching. Thank you.